looks like DARPA and friends in neurotechnology third generation are deploying it out in Ukraine as they move their way towards Russia. Listen to what happens. So here's another imminent threat like the Jewish synagogue. And listen, it's not you don't, you don't ever get used to air raids going off while bombs are dropping. But you have to listen to the reporter. She's just absolutely amazed at the attitude of the people. Almost like their brains are being, the fight or flight in their brains are being zapped. And it wouldn't surprise me that the Department of Defense would utilize other people in imminent threat as they make their way towards Russia, the United States Department of Defense, DARPA, and their biological technological weapon of mass destruction, neurotechnology third generation of bi-directional brain computer interface that can rewrite multiple synaptic firings on multiple people simultaneously. It can be used by the enemy and the enemy appears to be the United States as a biological technological weapon of mass destruction and or a means of mass subjugation has targeted the country's energy infrastructure in a series of drone and missile strikes. The attacks on Friday morning triggered air raid sirens in cities across the country. Residents have also been urged to take shelter in other cities, including the capital, Kyiv. Authorities say the Zaporizhia region, at least 17 projectiles there hit within an hour. Moscow appears to be stepping up attacks in Ukraine's south, and in the east. Now, the DW team in Kyiv has also headed to a shelter. Let's try and bring in DW special correspondent, Aya Ibrahim, um, who has been reporting from there. So, Aya, where are you and, and what is happening? We're right now in Kyiv where, uh, like most residents of the city, we woke up to piercing sound. Uh, of sirens signaling that the city might come under attack. Uh, and just in the past couple of minutes, we heard these sort of plopping sounds coming from the air, and that's usually a sign that a, that, that, that that's something that's been trying to target the city has uh, been struck uh, uh, down. And so that's why normally, Sarah, we would be coming to you from, let's say, a less improvised uh, setting, but we have chosen to uh, to he start heading to the shelter. You can see its entrance right behind me. It's close enough that we could jump into it just in case anything happens. Uh, but um, residents have been advised to move to shelters. I think what's striking to me here is, you know, how, let's say, nonchalant the residents are with these uh, with these warnings, uh, walking to the streets, walking, just coming here to the shelter. Um, I must say, not everybody is, no one is panicking. Nobody is necessarily uh, running to these shelters, and that's perhaps a sign of how used uh, to the situations the residents have become. It's a, it's, it's a very grim, um, uh, you know, side effect of this horrible war. And we understand it's not... So that's the DW. But what's, what, this is fair use to, but the thing is, is that when you listen to it, what you're hearing are this nonchalance, non-panic. And go back to the video before that I posted to YouTube, and you're going to see that same type of attitude. That's a brain-computer interface. That's mass subjugation of an entire group of people. Where they just, it's like whatever. An imminent threat is bombs and uh, going off. The, alarm, the sirens go off in your area because the bombs are coming. And they're just walking to the shelters like it's no big deal. So the enemies have become the United States, along with their NATO allies, that have access to a biological, technological weapon of mass destruction. And by the way, I thought Ukraine was supposed to be the, our allies that were helping. But you use the citizens, like you use the citizens of the United States, just to test out your weapon of mass destruction. Fuck you.